Hi, my name is Julia and I am a sophomore at Bennington and today I'm going to talk a little bit about my academic experience here. So the very first class I ever took in my discipline was Mark Making and Representation taught by Mary Lum. It's a drawing class and I felt really scared honestly coming into it. I knew that there was going to be some older students there, maybe people my age with more experience, and I also knew that we were working with a model, and I had never drawn somebody for life. Um, so I was apprehensive about it, but it ended up being a really great experience, and I learned how to work in a studio, and how to do critiques, and present my work in a way that looked professional. Um, and it was really great to be able to go in and work with my classmates and see how everyone progressed over the, over the semester and kind of watch my own progression and my portfolio grow. And it ended up being really positive and the drawing skills that I learned in that class um, informs all my visual artwork now. So it ended up being incredibly useful and I'm very glad I took it. The faculty members that are on my plan committee are Vanessa Lyon, Mirza Prozik, and Ann Thompson. Vanessa is my advisor and she teaches art history at Bennington. Ann Thompson is a curator of Usedan Gallery and she also teaches some classes. And Mirka Prozak teaches anthropology. Um, and I really wanted to work with them because for me it's great to have three really smart, really successful women um, <laughs> kind of guiding me through my time here at Bennington. And when I had my plan meeting with them in October, they suggested that I continue on the path that I was on, keep taking VA classes and keep doing art history, but also that I study broadly, um, meaning that I am taking classes outside of the visual art field. So I'm taking literature classes and anthropology classes as well to better inform my studies. Um, and also just to push myself, take a dance class, um, take a language. Right now I'm taking Spanish and that's a very exciting challenge for me because it's totally outside of my comfort zone, even more so than dance. <laughs> um, they also suggest that I push myself and I think that's really useful to have as a young person. Um, Vanessa, like I mentioned before, is my advisor and she is constantly helping me to further my work and write better papers and read extra books and just really <laughs> go the extra mile in my research and they it really just helps me in my practice both as a visual artist and in art history and in any other class I'm taking it's just there's a really high expectation for my work and I really appreciate that um so fieldwork term <laughs> It's really also contributed to my plan process because it helped me figure out a little bit more about my career goals and about what I want to do post Bennington. My first fieldwork term, I was in Ridgewood, Queens. I was working as a studio assistant for an artist named Summer Wheat. And working with Summer changed my entire view on the art world. I had no clue what it was actually like to be an artist. I knew I was interested in art, but I didn't know any like real practicing artists growing up so <laughs> getting to spend all that time with Summer and just see how she organizes herself, how she talks to galleries, how she goes about her day. It was like an incredible mentorship and she also let me get really hands on with her work which I wasn't expecting but I learned a lot. Um, I was working on drawings, tracing, um, mixing paint, and helping out with painting. So that was really exciting for me as a young person <laughs> um, to be working with a professional artist on her work. It was just crazy, actually. <laughs> um, and this year, my field return was at Williams College, which is about 30 minutes from Bennington. Um, and I was working in Shape and Library, which is their special collections library, and they have a really large collection of historical objects. I was working specifically with zines and old photographs and I learned how to catalog. I learned how libraries worked um, just on like a foundational level and I also learned a lot about doing research and that's really going to help me when I do my senior work and potentially work on a thesis because now I have connections at these libraries and 
I know how to use the material and I know exactly what I'm looking for. So it's really helped to both shape my art practice and shape my research practice fieldwork term.